spread of fake news increased dramatically during the COVID-19 pandemic worldwide. Studies among political and medical information groups, such as the National Library of Medicine and even Harvard, have proven this again and again. People often engage more with sensational content than they do some, some sort of like dry reporting, unfortunately. So in the case of the Affect Times, you have someone who ha it, who has, you know, founded it and runs it um, with ties to right wing, um, right wing, you know, politicians and figures. So you can kind of get a sense of that agenda um, by, by understanding those ties and, and understanding some of those motivations. We think of this as old news, something we at least have an understanding of, but in fact, we don't. It's a constantly evolving story that has actually become more insidious and harder to track. The Epic Times, controlled by the leader of the Falun Gong cult, is an excellent example of the still growing blight on truth and fairness. Those who create fake news in a democracy often do it to try and persuade or sway or guide um, voters' behavior. So if you have false information coming out from Epoch Times or Steve Bannon, obviously they're gonna design that information to try and shift the citizens to support a more conservative or right-wing agenda. Outlets like the Epic Times, in particular, they use innocuous videos that often will be you know, animals and, and other things that you know, get high engagement, you know, tens of millions of views. Um, and then those videos will be alongside on their page, alongside misinformation, um, you know, harmful rhetoric about the 2020 election and, and things of that nature. And one of the ways they found to succeed in doing that is to give news to that demographic that confirms their worldview and create an evil caricature of their opponent. Is any person or organization who they claim to be? Well, over the last few years, this alleged news outlet in particular has come to the forefront as a media organization whose agenda is anything but facts. The Epic Times claims to be about truth and tradition, when in fact they've proven that a wealthy person with an agenda can quite easily push the political and social needle in a nation to suit their agenda. The Epic Times has had and continues to have serious detrimental effect on the divide that continues to grow in America. Every, every person has preferences, um, ideologies, biases that shape their thinking. And if you have the money to buy a news outlet, you, th those biases will be in your news outlet. Dragon Springs is an over 400 acre compound in New York State in America. This is home to Lee Hong Shi. Lee oversees the Falun Gong on this compound, a cult founded in the early 1990s. It's important to note that Lee has spoken against modern medical treatments, race mixing, and homosexuality. This private secluded group that homeschools its young people and is less than appreciated by their neighbors has begun to take a stranglehold on media influence in North America and in these actions to choke out truth and balance in favor of right-winged influence and power. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's uh, science and is one of many things that has been politicized, particularly during COVID-19, um, because there are other people with other agendas um, you know, political agendas, for instance, um, we saw we saw the ability of anti-vaccine misinformation, anti-mask misinformation, really spread quickly on Facebook and other platforms, and really lead to real-world harm. Um, we've seen similar activity around LGBTQ issues lately. Millions of dollars are spent on swaying public thoughts and opinions for only one reason, deeply personal and devious agendas. Getting to the root of this is an important first step to getting back to real news, facts, and society working towards common goals from a position of truth and knowledge. 
It will take a long time to make the United States more critically uh, media literate, but it's also taken a long time to get here. Um, we, we've sort of let American democracy and the news media system really die on the vine and, and education with it. One of the biggest threats to our way of life is the, the ability of social media to so quickly spread this misinformation across the United States, across the world. Um, and platforms have really not rose, rose to the occasion. Um, they often will put profit over the safety of their users, um, and they'll allow misinformation to spread, they'll allow hateful rhetoric, um, and even if they have policies against um, this sort of rhetoric and misinformation, um, we often find that they are unable to consistently um, enforce their policies, which allows you know, misinformation and sensational content to still prol proliferate. Intentional misinformation is corruption, and this corruption is not only powerful, it's dangerous. The Epic Times and Lee have been focused on utilizing the best, meaning the worst, perpetrator when it comes to spreading fake news. Facebook. Mainstream media in the U.S. and Canada have repeatedly called out the Epoch Times for misinformation, and this includes mainstream conservative media. It's never a good sign when a media organization makes headlines rather than simply reports them. The Epoch Times is a very interesting outlet. Um, there's a lot of questions about its, its funding model. Um, those of us in the media literacy world think that you should always look to see the ways in which funding influences the type of, of reporting. Um, we have some details about the Epoch Times, obviously. Um, we know those who are opposed to the Chinese Communist Party uh, have had a hand in designing it. Um, we know that they've increasingly gravitated toward conservative narratives, um, also been caught um, perpetuating false information that, that runs in conservative circles, things like QAnon um, and other things like that. So that's what we know about the Epoch Times in, in general. But where this funding has come from, what, what their purpose is, um, we know very little details about that. There's definitely a problem with um, partisan you know, outlets trying to pose as reputable news sources. Um, in addition to the Epic Times, we've seen this across, um, across the country with these local news outlets that are actually just partisan outlets, often funded by you know, right-wing figures um, and right-wing leaders. Um, and it allows, it gives a sense of credibility to these outlets that really they don't deserve um, and, and it helps spread that misinformation around. Many believe that COVID or climate change are the biggest problems facing mankind. In fact, disinformation may prove to be far more dangerous. At the time of this filming, we reached out to the Epic Times to give them a chance to answer these allegations. They declined. 